Hi, Monica King here with King's Titan Homestead. Um, and today I'm going to show you a another naughty hive. Actually, this was from August of 2019. I received a call from the base of the Catalina Mountains here in Tucson. And the homeowner or the, the hobbyist, the beekeeper, um, said that he had a double deep uh, Langstroth hive that had turned extremely defensive and he tried requeening it once but they did not accept the queen um, in the t with the technique that he used which basically was leaving it uh, very strong and um, they just said no no thank you <laughs> so um, I went and got it and I picked it up and I brought it to my apiary to requeen it and it was a really um, testy, touchy hive that um, definitely was not going to accept um, accept a, a new European queen without having um, to decrease their numbers drastically. So I took this double deep hive and I turned it into, um, well, at first I thought I could use three five frame nukes to split it up. So um, I started with putting the honey frames on the outside of the nuke boxes, but I realized really quickly that um, I was actually going to need two more boxes and I was going to split this hive into five. So there was just such a high number of bees in it, um, very high population. And so I was out of nuke boxes. Uh, 2019 was an exceptional year for um, bee removals and swarms and um, just a huge year. Um, that was the year that we got like 13 inches of rain here on my property, um, which is two inches above average. So um, just a great year for beekeeping in Southern Arizona. So um, I had to use a couple of the 10 frame boxes that I had sitting around. Um, so yeah. As I got into the brood um, chamber area, I realized there was an open queen cell. Um, so I found the virgin and I killed her. Did you see that? There's more than just a ball of bees killing her um, around the, the body of the Virgin Queen. Did you see that? So what was I pointing out there? Did you see the Varroa mite on one of the worker bees that was on the ball um, where the Virgin Queen is? Right there big old ver, uh, varroa. Ugh. So they also needed, needed to be treated, but I do that. Um, would do, they're getting um, literally a brood break anyway. So um, that is um, one way of controlling a mite load. And so that was already happening to the hive. So I got all of the frames from the double deep hive divided out into five nucleus colonies and I added empty frames wherever there was an, a spot. So I was short on European queens. I didn't have anything left in my queen bank. Um, so basically what I did is I went to some of my really top, um, queens that, uh, my European queens that I, that I have at the property, my donor hives, and I took some frames 
of uh, brood from them and then I put an X on the frame so that I would know where the queen cells uh, would come from. And because the hive um, or the double deep hive that I brought in actually was in the process of requeening anyway and had a virgin emerged, I really didn't have to worry about going in and knocking down any queen cells from the pre the the old hive. Um, so basically, I put an X on on that so that I could make sure that they were raising queen cells on the brood frames, um, and then I put those in the middle of the nukes. And then lastly, I covered them um, with uh, some shade due to the extreme temperatures that we have. Um, and, and just because I, I decreased them to fairly small size hives um, and I didn't want them to have any problems with like meltdowns or anything like that. Cause yeah, in August we still get some pretty hot temperatures in Southern Arizona. Um, so that's basically what I did and what I, you know, yes, um, you are right. The uh, cells that these hives uh, raised, the queens would mate with um, the population in this area. And so there is a high probability that some of the Africanized genetics did mate with these queens. So basically then what I do uh, for the hive that I'm taking back to a residential area, I make sure that that gets requeened again uh, with a European uh, queen of known genetics that I got from a different location in the US. So um, when do I use this technique? I don't requeen all Africanized hybrids this way. Um, basically, it is a judgment call um, and having a level of experience where you've worked with them enough to know when they're not going to accept um, European queen just with the regular, you know, killing an old queen, um, waiting a couple days, going in and introducing the new queen by, um, you know, cage with candy plug. Um, so why the extreme with these? It is, I do it when I have a hive that basically is a eight, nine, or 10 on my hatometer. <laughs> and when those kind of hives, those are the ones that they are attacking you. Um, they're, um, they don't care about smoke. They just, you know, you can smoke them all you want. It just doesn't, they don't care. Um, light puff, they're still coming at you. A lot, it doesn't matter. They they just don't respond to a smoker. Um, they um, are attacking your gloves. You'll like look down and you'll have 20 to 50 stings on your gloves. Um, they're not only airborne, but they're also smacking your veil. Just, you know, just a constant pounding on the veil. They are landing on your suit and trying to find small holes in it. Um, yeah, it's that kind of hive. Um, this kind of hive is one that could cause problems around um, people and animals, pets and stuff. And so those are the kind of hives that really um, need to be taken out to a rural area to be requeened or done at night with a red light. Um, and then in some cases that doesn't even really work. Um, we've had one instance where a hive worked at night with a red light, kept a grudge, held a grudge, and was um, going around and stinging neighbors and things like that. And we just can't have that. Um, we have to be very considerate of those people around us and not put them or their lives or their pets' lives or their children's lives or anything in jeopardy. So um, because of that, these these hives that are at that level, um, I offer a service and I bring them out to my apiary to get them requeened.